Hi everyone, I just wanted to go over the upcoming May update for the US server and I'm just going to go down the list of what they actually listed on the site and the first one is going to be the Castle Siege <clears throat> which is actually going to be a um, four clan battle Sorry, and this is basically what it looks like now. There are going to be three castles. Um, this one is owned by Imperius from last week's event. Um, and it looks like there's going to be two alliance that are going to try and battle to win this for tomorrow. Um, Hot Sauce is actually alliance on its own. Um, HOH and SG Cons is actually um, Alliance and Imperius is on its own. So it's going to be a 1v1v2. So that's one of the things that I'll try to get for the recording. Um, Atlantis will most likely pass it to Revenge, which is their alliance right here. Um, Pandora and LG Global are just um, separate clans, and Fire Phoenix always takes one since they are the top top clan in our server. Um, the layout is basically whoever owns it will try and defend this castle here, and the three clans that are participating or who bid on the um, castle will be ported into one of this three. Um, then there's a gate, which is basically um, easy to break. I do have videos where we had um, castle siege events, so you guys can watch that. Um, it's a really good addition since it can be 150 versus 50 since the current maximum is still 50 per clan. Um, the next update that everyone's going to get is going to be the UR update, which is for your gear. And I do have a separate video, which I will add to my link below, um, where I go over different ways of obtaining the items that you need to upgrade your um, current SR for free without having to buy the bundles. Um, I do have a full blue and red set as well, which I just completed recently. And we do not have UR for accessories yet, but I'm sure that's probably coming up. Um, the other update that's coming up, which is the 3v3, we do not have. It hasn't been posted on the Asia forum or events or anything upcoming for us, so I can't even do a preview of that right now. Um, and the last part, which is the new territory. Um, basically, I believe there are four maps Field-wise, let's take a look. Oh, three, I lied. So there's Eternal Lands. Northwind Plateau and Ivory Tower, which is, this one is going to be the last part um, of the field mob um farming basically and this area right here is going to have the 254 mobs so for quest scrolls this is basically where you're going to be farming for once you reach 260. Um, one of the other things that's going to be added is Magnadin which I believe will eventually be added and um, basically you will be available to every map and all you have to do is click move and right now it will show up a dragon and port me there. 
and this is where you can access the NPCs for um, discounted, which I actually have to go to, so we're going there right now. Um, we do have account storage. Um, there's the trade post vendor um, and also the site list. So if you want to change, I believe it will be released. Once this is released, you guys will have the customization that we have available now for different looks. Um, but for discounted price, this is basically all you can buy. And because I do not have any soul shot currently, I'm just going to go buy a couple. Um, and the stylist is right over here. And here is a preview for elves. Basic, you can purchase them, convert, and even dye the hair. Oh, I can't do this one. And I would have to change it before I can show you guys the different colors. But um, there's multiple colors for, for this style. Um, let's take a look. So there's the field and dungeons. I am in the middle of my quest, uh, my dailies actually. So let's just go over one of the other important things that you guys will be getting. Um, for the people who do spend, and I apologize for the currency that's going to be listed because it is an Asia account. It's going to show different amounts. Um, but one of the biggest change is going to be the daily benefits. And um, they are going to cost, this one is $10, um, $10, 10 This is going to be $50. And the difference between the US and the Asia server right now is that this daily login diamond um, bundle is actually at 500 blue diamonds for us. Um, and I know currently in the US it's a thousand. So I'm not sure if that's going to change or not. Um, then here's the Adina. Um, these are the two best things that will be added and which I recommend to get. Um, the first one is the daily benefits for quest. Um, and this will do an auto quest for your um, weekly and your quest scrolls. So you can basically just hit auto and it will just do everything for you. And the daily hunting benefits will say uh we'll sell your um items that you do not you don't want to have um for example like b's or c's um that you normally auto sell manually will sell it for you and sadly i don't have it I was trying to get it but complications <laughs> happen so i have to wait until monday to 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 show you guys what it looks like. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start my weekly while we're doing this so you guys can see exactly what it does. So here is my weekly quest and on the Asia server, it's actually 15 quests. Um, on the US server, it's only 10 a day. So if I hit auto, it's gonna go do all of my quests automatically and I don't have to do anything. So I can go ahead and fig, uh, finish the rest of my dailies. I actually kept most of my dailies so I can show you guys the different changes that you guys are going to be expecting. Um, one of the additional um, difficulty that you guys will be getting is the daily dungeon difficulty which is I believe this one um, this will give you guys the radiant upgrade stone which is going to be uh, required for upgrading your weapons and uh, um, your armors to UR so you need about 10 to 15 of these 
Um, so this is basically one of the best ways to complete daily. Um, and ours also, the difference too is that ours only cost one ticket and I believe on the US it costs about three. So I'm not sure if that's a change too that's going to happen, but I'm just going to go ahead and auto clear this. Um, we did get a new update for Tower of Insolence. Um, I have not completed it yet, but I do plan on completing it today and I was going to record it as well. So I'll, I'll have this on another video um, because I need to do all my buffs and everything else. Um, Adina is also one ticket to clear and you guys will get, I believe, let me just take a look at the US one. Okay, so you guys currently have hard as the highest, so you'll get very hard, which I actually forgot what it was, but I'm just going to go ahead and auto clear mine. And for the EXP, um, you guys will also get difficulty hell, which will give, let's just take a look. Okay, 286k, but the new one, which is heroic, this is only for 320. Um, it's 899k, almost 900k, um, and it's also one ticket. And for you guys, it's currently uh, four tickets per. So I'm not exactly sure why there's such a big gap between that. Um, and I believe I completed all the the group dailies um, elite dungeon so for the elite dungeon you guys are going to get four different ones um, laboratory is going to be the PvP version and this one will actually have um, it's just like extraction no penalty for PK um, and it's going to have 11 mini bosses which will be listed up here so these are all the mini bosses and in every location there's either one or two of them so it's a big map um, you can farm your materials from here um, someone did mention that you guys might have the nerfed version or might not which is ours was nerfed after the 320 patch but prior to that, we used to be able to farm um, SR Limit Breakstones, S Attribute Stones, um, all of that in materials. So you can basically farm this, but it's a PvP mode, so just be careful. <laughs> um, the next one is Canopy, which is... A pretty decent map. And this will have three mini bosses Argus, Elisa, and Sling. And ours was also recently updated where it shows the loot that you can obtain from farming different types of mobs from here. So I'm not sure if that's also going to be updated or if it has. Um, let me just take a look real quick. I think it did. Um, no, it hasn't yet. But um, I'm sure that this will eventually be added as well. The drop rates are really, really low though, so don't expect too much from farming them. Um, the next one is the... Um, I actually forgot the name. Understory. I'm sorry. Um, and this will have three bosses as well. 
they will not drop special loots like the lab, but you'll be able to see. Um, uh, you can basically farm here and here for leveling. Um, obviously, this is a non-PK mode, so penalty will happen if you do get killed. Um, and the last one is a really small map, but basically the end of the Elite Dungeons for level 260, and it will only be open at 260. And there are four mini-bosses, um, and they are... They will also drop the same loot as the laboratory, and it's, it is a PvP mode, so um, just be careful when farming the bosses. Um, bosses can be farmed, and since they are based on the final strike, I'm sure people will start raging and yell at everybody else once a kill is stolen. Um, and it looks like the next list, um, shows Daily Dungeon. I did go over that. Uh, you guys will unlock Floor 90. And we also call it RSS Equipment Dungeon instead of Temple. So, just wanted to go over that. Um... Elixir S2R. Okay. Ours is currently up to SR, and I, I am currently working on mine um, to SR. But it is a pretty good boost, so it will be good to start. Uh, piling those. Um, one of the things that I also noticed as well is that um, the mount that was recently released, you guys, they are you guys, not the US server actually um, has the SR version and can be equipped with um, equipment. So ours is locked, and obviously, we do have more mounts. This is actually one of the one that was recently released um, and it can only be bought through a bundle or the um, for a chance to get it through the um, gambling of mount equipment and it's right here. So it's either 10 uh, 700 blue or 700 red. Um, let's just take a look. I think that's pretty much the preview of the May update. Um, if you guys have any questions or um, you'd like to see more of what is going to be released, let me know. Um, I do constantly provide information to um, my U.S. clients since I do play in the U.S. as well. So it's easier for me to go over them and see the differences between both servers. Um, and if you do get st stuck in between your auto quest, all you have to do is click it again and it'll go. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. I just remembered. So one of the, <laughs> one of the things that is part of the castle siege is an event. So currently, you will get one ticket per hundred mobs killed, and you can gamble to see who you think will win the. Um, the castle so currently and it will also show how many weeks they have owned the castle um right now i only have 25 tickets left so i'll probably farm some more before i start re-rolling but you can get multiple 
um, items from here, blast scrolls. Um, the only thing I have yet seen from here is my fire. So I think everything else you can get but the my fire. Um, otherwise, that's it. Um, let me know if you guys have any suggestions or questions. I'll be more than happy to show you guys what um, to look forward to. Thank you.